and story time. Good morning, day kids. It's good to see you. We miss you. We miss being together. We miss being able to play together. We miss being able to hang out with each other. And we miss eating food with you. I wonder if you've thought about who you might be looking forward to spending time with when lockdown is done. People that you might like to eat food with. Maybe it's your grandma or your granddad. Maybe it's your friends. Maybe it's church family. Maybe it's aunties and uncles and cousins. There are so many people that we miss spending time with, don't we? In God's book, the Bible, we're going to be thinking about some of the meals that Jesus had when he was here on earth. But he doesn't always have meals with the people that we might expect him to. So we're going to think about who he eats with and what that shows us about his heart for people. And we're going to start this morning with Jesus having lunch with Levi. So I'm going to have a bit of help from Toby and some little wooden people to tell you the story of Jesus and Levi. Let's go. There once was a man called Levi. Levi was a tax collector. He was born one of God's chosen people, but he swapped sides and worked for the enemy, the Romans. They were the ones who had taken over the land. He took money from his own people to give to the enemy. And sometimes he took extra for himself. One day, Jesus came to town. And he told Levi to follow him. Levi was amazed that Jesus would call someone like him. He was a cheat and a sinner. He knew he needed help. So he left everything to follow Jesus. He was so happy that he threw a party for, for Jesus. He invited everybody that he knew and his house was full of people just like him. Some people though, people who were proud of themselves and thought that they were good enough for Jesus, were cross that Jesus was friends with Levi. They thought Jesus shouldn't be hanging out with people like him. He should want to spend time with a good person like me. But Jesus said, I came to save sinners. People who think that they're good look at what they say and do and believe that that makes them good. The people who were angry at Jesus didn't realise they needed him as much as Levi did. Isn't it amazing that in that story that Jesus went towards somebody who everybody else said was a really bad and a really big sinner? Jesus invited him to follow him and Levi said yes, not because Levi was great, but because Levi knew that he needed Jesus. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel sad about the sin in my heart and in my life. But actually, it's good when I know those things about me because they push me back to Jesus. They remind me how much I need him. And that all of us have sinful hearts. Levi was doing things that people could see were obviously wrong. But actually, the people who didn't, uh, didn't like what Jesus was doing, they had sin in their hearts too. Their sin was their pride of thinking that they didn't need God, that they were good on their own. And so we all have sinful hearts and we all need Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, thank you that Jesus came for sinful people. We are all sinful people and so we all needed him to come. Thank you that he loved Levi and he loves us. And thank you that he has the power to change us and make us new people. Amen. <laughs> 